Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about styles. So in the previous video, we talked about the template right here. And so that's what is going to be viewed, what are you going to see? It's not, it's so, so it's the equivalent of HTML. And well, it's not the equivalent, it is HTML, right? So you could put everything inside of here. So if we do this, we can always see this. That's all it is, just header one, hi there, and very, very simple. So what if you want to style this now? You'd use CSS, right? And that's where styles comes in, all right? So here it would be same thing as the template. So template URL, URL or style URL, okay? So style URLs, const, notice you have to put the const in front of it. Why? I'm not exactly sure, but that's that's a standard where you put that in front of all the styles themselves. Um, right, right in here. And then it's going to be app component CSS. So it's going to reference this area right here. Notice the brackets. That's just the, the style. That's just the syntax itself. So app component CSS. And so it'll be right inside of here. So what if I want to add something different? So I could uh, put all of my CSS on one page and I could say, um, something like, uh, H1, color blue. Let's just do that. So I'll redo this and it'll be blue. Okay. So what I'm doing here, same thing, just like standard CSS template, I'm viewing it. And this is the style right inside here. If it's very complicated, so you have a really complicated CSS page, reference it, and you can write it on a different page so it doesn't make this thing harder to read. But this is nice and simple, right? Do I really need to do that? Well, no, I don't really need to. So I'll delete that right here. It'll come back as black again. There we go. And so instead, because this is simple, straightforward styling, so I'm just going to delete that right there. Actually, it's styles. Notice it's styles style URLs with the S or styles, plural. Okay. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to say, I'm going to style it right here. I'm going to say const because remember we still have to do that and put the brackets right here. And then I'm going to put quotations because that's standard as well. H1, then it's plain CSS color red. And that's it. And I hope it works. There we go. Okay. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, this is not just CSS. You could put, put it right here, but, and you could put it anywhere else where you can reference it as well. So that's the, the nice thing. That's what makes it again, modular, but not only that, but the nice thing about it is these styles will only affect this particular module here. Okay, what it will not do is it will not affect any if you have a different component or a different other anything itself, a different module, the CSS or the styles will not affect those other things. So that makes it nice. Do you remember in the um, previous videos, I said, if you have a web application, and you have a structure here, an element here, an element here, an element here, and you want it in that order, it will always have that same appearance because of this right here, this, the scope of the styles or style URLs is only going to be localized. So you don't have to worry about the web element, the custom element changing its appearance anywhere, just regardless of what your CSS looks like right here. Okay. So this CSS, which is for the entire page may look different, may have one structure. It may have H1 and stuff like that, but that's irrelevant because this one is only going to talk about this H1, this right here, and not anywhere else, as opposed to this styles over on the web will refer to the um, H1 header one here, if there is one, and it will not touch the header one that is right here. Okay, so that's the nice thing. Again, it's modular. You isolate these sections from each other. So we have a nice and consistent look and feel every single time. All right. So that's with the styles. Let's keep moving on. Thanks.